And then that leads us to the games I'm really looking forward to because they have back-to-back games that I, I'm super excited about. The first one is Brooklyn at Boston, the official return of Kevin Durant. We got to see if Kyrie's going to burn Sage again when they go back to Boston like he did in the preseason game. It helped. Uh, Boston, it, it helped. It helped. And I'm not knocking them. Uh, you know, for the people that was trying to criticize, I'm not knocking them about it. If that's what your pregame ritual is, so be it. That's you, bro. Well, has that always been his pregame ritual, or just did he just start? No. That was my, my my only question. Is that I'm not I'm not knocking him either because I'm I, I'm with using sage, you know what I mean, around the house and and, and whatnot Whoa. to clear out those spirits. But I just I thought it was a little bit funny just because it was Boston, his former team and whatnot, and I had never seen him doing it like anything like that before. So that would be my only thing. Not that I'm I I took it as a joke. Or whatever him doing it but i just i had never seen him doing it before yeah i mean but you know how it is bro sometimes when you get that that fresh pack of incense from 125th you eager to, to put it in the house and put it in the air and he was just <laughs> eager to put his sage in the air he was That's eager to put his sage in the air but he, he played well so keep doing the sage bro you know what i'm saying we want to we want to see where it goes um but i'm super excited for this game because boston was a team that i really oh, liked God. last year I had them going to the finals and they end up losing to Miami in the Eastern Conference finals. And I think Boston has some question marks because Kemba's probably going to be out for a few of these games to start the season. Obviously, they, they don't have Gordon Hayward anymore, so they, they got to figure out a little bit of their depth issues, which they already had last year. I want to see if Tristan Thompson fits in with them. And then, I, obviously, we want to see how, how Brooklyn gels. So I'll give you my prediction right off the bat. I think Brooklyn handles Boston in that first meeting. Is Brooklyn in here tonight? I need mean, what, what my damn nets hat. I gotta find my nets hat and bring my nets hat back out. Uh, in, in the words of in, in the words of my cousin uh, Jonathan, that silky smooth brother named Kevin Durant is back, looking 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 very much like Kevin Durant. He got a dunk in the other night against against Boston. That was nice. He was shooting from the from everywhere on the court. Kyrie was looking well. Levert was was doing his thing, coming off the bench. That Brooklyn team just looks really good, and like you said, Boston definitely has some holes in it. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe they they might need to try to throw their their hat in the, in the James Harden race and uh, and see if he can he can help out their organization. Um, I did, however, see that um, shout out to to to, to our NBA insider uh, Scoop B uh, from Scoop B Radio and Heavy dot com. He he uh, posted today. That the Nets and uh, the Rockets are are opening the negotiation uh, talks back up for James Harden, um, so we'll keep you guys posted on that. That might be their little Christmas gift for, <laughs> to themselves, picking up James Harden. Uh, but again, my pick for the game, I, I got to go Brooklyn. Just if I'm even just based off of what I just saw the other day in that preseason game versus Boston, and like you said, it's not like Kimball's gonna be back right now. Uh, for the start of the season, so and because again, I know Kim wasn't there for the game, but he won't be back either on Christmas Day. So I gotta go Boston, and, and it might get ugly. Motherfucker, this is your African king of comedy, Michael Blackson. You watching real friends, real talk. Get real with it, my son. <laughs>